David Lee Abbott, more commonly known as Tank, was one of the first bad boys of MMA. Tank Abbott may not have been a UFC champion, but his influence on MMA still felt today. Every single time he was out there, Abbott was putting on a show that was gonna get all fight fans entertained. For today's video, we're talking about all the badass moments inside and outside of the octagon. Here is a small snippet of the badassery of the UFC legend Tank Abbott. Before we get to the meat of the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos on the coolest sports content. Tank's First UFC Fight Most fighters either have unremarkable wins in their first fight or they go out and wreak havoc during their first stint in the octagon. In Tank's case, he came out ready to wreak havoc in the MMA. Tank Abbott first fought at UFC 6, but he had wanted to start fighting in MMA since the start, but was stopped because Gracie's influence in MMA made them stray away from amateur fighters and wrestlers like Abbott. Abbott came into MMA playing the character of a bar fight veteran. Abbott was billed as a fighter who had essentially gone through hundreds of people in bar fights before. Abbott played this rude crass character while starting it off with an interview acting rude as all heck. Abbott then proceeded to go head-to-head -head with a 400-pound 6'2 Hawaiian fighter, John Matua. In a brutal and quick 18 seconds, Abbott ends the fight against the bigger fighter with ease, and he found it so easy he was out here mocking the struggling and convulsing fighter on the ground after his swift knockout. Definitely came into the UFC with bad intentions in mind as he got every MMA fan hyped and instantly became a one-to-watch fighter. Vicious shots to the head. Tank oh, that's it. it down, and that is all. He hit the ground very hard. Oh, Lord. Oh, my. His legs are shaking. Okay, okay. Okay. The Bar Fighter Pit Fighter. Tank Abbott gave Chuck Norris vibes with all the insane tall tales he was spouting out. We're talking about a guy who apparently bench pressed 600 pounds easily, a feat that pro strongmen would struggle with. We're also talking about a guy who apparently could kick four fighters' asses at once during a brawl crawl. In fact, David Lee Abbott got his tank nickname from a Clint Eastwood movie, apparently. Clint Eastwood's 1978 movie, Every Which Way But Loose, starred Tank Murdoch, a bare-knuckle fighter that showed eerily similar vibes to Tank Abbott. This and his wrestling background got people hyped for Tank Abbott and got him his persona in MMA as a bar fighter or pit fighter who fought his own brand of dirty brawling. Tank Abbott had the anti-MMA vibe that made him the complete opposite of the respectful and heavily disciplined martial artists, instead being a brash, no-nonsense fighter who fought his own brand of improvisational MMA. It's gotta be nice knowing that your nickname is based on one of the greatest and most badass actors in the world. Made UFC History Tank Abbott was a UFC legend who definitely was an innovator in MMA. But one weird way he made UFC history that's also really funny is that time he made UFC history by having a UFC suspension first. Yes, Tank Abbott was actually considered by many to make UFC history by getting suspended, being the first fighter to get suspended from the UFC. During the early days of MMA, when it was a little more like no-holds-barred fighting, instead of highly sanctioned professional MMA, Tank Abbott made waves when he got suspended. He didn't get suspended for steroids or anything though. He got suspended weirdly enough for fighting. Tank Abbott was famous for his persona of knocking people out in bars. Well, after UFC 8, he ended up fighting with some BJJ fighters also watching the event. The UFC didn't react to the situation too well and ended up suspending him until UFC 10. The Tank was making waves in both good and bad ways in the world of MMA. Truly a trailblazing legend. Tank vs. Fry Superfight Some fighters just have iconic bouts that just make them memorable. Ali had its bouts against Frazier, Khabib had his battles against McGregor, and for Tank Abbott, no fight was probably quite as iconic as the time he went up against MMA Hall of Famer and legend Don Fry. Big punches have come from the tank. Oh, uppercut by tank. 
This was the final fight of the tournament for UFC 11.5 and featured the two behemoths battling it out. Off the bat, Tank came at swinging, catching Don Fry by surprise and getting him in a heap of trouble early on. People were expecting this to be won by Tank as he came in with some of the most devastating blows in all of MMA. If Don Fry wasn't built like a brick wall, he would have folded from the opening strikes alone, but Don Fry recovered and the show was still on. No other fight had the same level of brutality as these dudes went shot for shot and blow by blow to see who wins the spout. Don Fry was absolutely bloody, while Tank looked like he had no damage at all. But all it took was a bad fall from Tank, and Don took the opportunity to go for a rear naked choke. Tank may have lost his spout, but it didn't look like it, as Tank was still walking fine with ease out of the arena, while Don Fry had a face covered in red and could barely open his eyes from the damage. Tank was a legend for doing that much damage to one of the toughest dudes in MMA. Tank grabbing Fry's foot. Fry trying to sink the choke. And that was it! Fry has won! Of course, Tank was his usual cocky self, saying that he would have won if he didn't let Don Fry get his hooks in. While Don Fry had nothing but praise for Tank Abbott, saying nobody hit him harder than Abbott did. Truly legendary, Abbott didn't need a win to get the respect of the MMA and UFC fans. Fighting even while injured. In the era of load management, we see fights get cancelled all the time due to injuries. While it's greater, fighters aren't forced to risk career-ending injuries and their health. There is something that's awe-inspiring about fighters who fought through injuries and still dominate. Tank Abbott was one of those guys who didn't let injuries slow him down. Going into UFC 11, Tank was still recovering from a bum knee that he didn't get surgery on as he fought against boxer Sam Adkins. It was clear the injury meant nothing, as Tank was still as dominant even with the injury. He went out there and absolutely bodied Sam Adkins with an insane submission choke against the cage wall. Tank was simply built differently, and it took a lot to take this man down. And that's all for today's video. What's your favorite Tank Abbott moment? Write your answers down in the comments, and while you're at it, leave a like if you enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications on the newest videos on the best sports content.